Hey, what's up guys? Sonny Sales and bringing us part 2 of our Let's Play of Super Paper Mario. So in the last video, we started off this Let's Play by watching the opening. That's basically all we did. So now we're technically getting down the business. So we need Merlin is out. So or do we need to go the other way? Maybe. think so. Haven't actually played this game in about a week, so yeah. That's my fault. I mean, I'm like at chapter four now. So I'm like halfway through the game. You know, or the main story at least. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. Here it is. This is the heart pillar. Now get close and place the pure heart. That we shall. So yeah, just as y'all, this is gonna be a really long let's play, by the way. This thing you all know that. This is look as the first door opened and ready to go. Well done. Now let's return to Merlin. Or Merlon. Oh, we're going to call him Merlin. Or Merlon, that's what we're going to call him. So we shall return to Merlon now. I hate it when I do that so much. Waste time. Please stop wasting time. I hate it. That's the only reason why I hate playing this. One, it's the only reason why I hate playing this game with plus control pad. Perhaps you should strike the spot before we head back to Marlon. We already did. We did that at the end of the last video. That's probably what we're going to be doing at the end of like most videos, is hitting a save block. Ah, the two of you return. Look, a door is opened. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. And we got a return pipe, a magic pipe that returns you to flip side from afar. With this, you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. To use your return pipe, just go to important things on the menu screen. Just remember that in some areas, the signal from Flipside might not reach. The light prognosticus foretells that a hero will meet a dimension governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, the Flit Wizard Bestovius. So, go now through this door and seek out Bestovius. Well, let's get going. That we will end the first door. Hmm, first things first, gotta meet up with the villains. <laughs> Black, this void. The void has been ripped into dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All is gone as foretold in the Dark Prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise, Black. Wow, that's just super, Count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds, and then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all the other icky stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world. Sounds magical. Ha 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 ha. I can hardly stand the wait. Sorry I'm late. What in blazing bug racks? How would I beat myself here? What's going on? 
Me, 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 Hello, Chunks. You big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time when you've got time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey! You can't fool me with that crazy shape-shifting hooliganery. It's Mimi, isn't it? Show a little respect for the cat. You can't go a bar on his face, lass. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper. Let's go, Black! Oh, golly. Thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count. That's my idea of a perfect world. And here I thought Mimi's idea of the world was a gym-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey, Dementio, have you been reading my diary? I mean, oh, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. Yeah, about that. Just FYI, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. Apparently, there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the hero of the prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper, and possibly the hero. Are you sure of it, Nastasia? Interesting. He's Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black. Let me get this right. Let me. Let me get this right here in my brain. This hero Nastasia is going on about. He your enemy. And you gotta cut me loose on him. You gotta. I'll give him a nice taste of old chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me, Count. I rain down like a fat thunderstorm. I swear it. Remember me, Dementio. You should tag alone. You could witness a proper chunking. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> so, hero, you would defy Count Black. Then hurry, for your world's end draws near. <laughs> Black. Those, I was quite forgot how long the sequence actually was. <clears throat> Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Blood from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. So anyway, let's get started with the very first level of this game, Chapter 1-1, The Adventure Unfolds. Which, yeah, you know, this is definitely... This is a good game so far, as far as i played through. I'm really enjoying this game. It looks like any first stage in a Mario game. A nice little grassy hill. Not Green Hill, of course. We see that enough in Sonic games. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlon told us to learn to find his friend Bestovius to learn that dimensional technique. We'd better go find him. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Simply point your Wii Remote and screen and Tippy will focus on where you point. Then just press A over anything framed in red to hear more about it. Feel free to ask Tippy about anything or anyone you want. So here we are at Lightning Road. We pointed at ourselves, see like we can do this. It's a Goomba, one of Bowser's minions. Max HP is one and attack is one. It really puts the under back in, uh, back in underlings. It has no remarkable traits. They're pretty much the lowest of the low. But I hear Goombas do have their fans, so do it you, so... So if you shake Wii Remote, you get extra bonus points, which, you know, you basically use to level up in this game. You know, they might have, this is a mushroom, grab these to recover HP. You know, they might have got rid of the whole role-playing thing about this game, but, you know, they still have the level up system. It's already underground here. Open up this chest. Oh, we got a shroom shake, a healthy drink, restores 10 HP and cures poison. Oh, 
This ain't that doing math equation. Oh, jeez. Totally even forgot he was there. Let me just say, bub, we're gonna go and do in here before we do, you know, go ahead and end off this video. This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you use my power to look around? There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. It's a door. Let's go inside. Oh, yes, Tippy. That's what we use with doors. We use them to go into places. Hmm? <clears throat> What in this meager mustache that stands before me? And how does it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How do these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait right there. Red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, jaunty cap. Ha! You are garbed in the rich cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great hero impersonator. What a costume. You look like you leaped out of the pages of the Prognosticus. No, no, Mario. No, no. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlon told us to find you. Merlon? Only his full-bodied beard rivals my hairy magnificent. If Merlon thinks you are the true hero, you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestovius, will bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping. For a nominal fee of 10,000 coins. But that's preposterous. You can't charge to teach the hero of the prophecy. Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Bestovius has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get, get the world delivered to him on a well garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills? A mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? Uh, no. I see. So be it. I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Do we have a deal? No. Still you refuse. So be it. Though it makes me ill, I will waive the normal fee and teach you for free. Do you agree to this? Yes. What the heck? Skin tintillating. Let us be an un... Uh, that might have been the Flimity flimity flume. Diggity daggity doom. Zibbity zabbity zoom. Shaboom! Flapow! I, Bessovius, have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press the A button to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind-blowing, isn't it? What is this A button I speak of? I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, those beings will understand, but you like the mustache for full comprehension. Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths, but be aware. Use your new ability too long and you will lose HP. So yeah, a nice little fourth wall break. So what we can do is, we can now play the game in 3D. Use the flip ability to flip in the 3D. Flip between 2D and 3D to get through tricky situations and find secrets. While you're flipping, the flip gauge in the upper left will start to drop. If your flip gauge runs out, you'll start to take damage. So flip back before then. Flip back in the 2D to build up your flip gauge again. So the shroom shake and the shell shot rams into enemies when you kick the shell. So of course, you know, we just hit the A button, then, you know, just to flip back. There, there was another one in here. With the fire burst, it broils enemies with searing flames. So anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. So if you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel really helps out. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out everyone.